Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. It's been a while, but I finally have got myself a new Carnivale model to show off. And what a fun model this is. So this is from the Vatican group, faction, that's the word I'm thinking of, but this is the Scorpio Marksman. So I know for one of the starter sets for the Vatican, they actually have a guy carrying a Scorpio with him. And he's got like a little altar boy that's carrying a bunch of bolts for it. But nope, this one is actually going to be firing that Scorpio on top of the poor little altar boy's head. So I thought, I, I gotta get this. I gotta put this together. I've been painting a bunch of knights and stuff anyways. This looks like fun. But in addition to that, Daka Daka member Bob the Inquisitor hooked me up with some of the tabletop combat bonus figures to show off to you guys. I know these will hopefully probably be back next year. These were their Black Plague Friday and Cyber Meeting Monday figures that were released for the special event. A lot of times these special event models do come back during, you know, other special events, so if they look like fun and you want to try painting one, keep your eyes peeled. Let's take a look at these models. I'm not sure where the stats are for this guy. Let's find out if there's cards. No. 50 millimeter base. Not the usual foam. It's much more dense and hard. Let's take a look at the parts here. I like tabletop combat's resins. They've been quite solid. And you can see as I shove this as close to the camera as possible, the detail really is there. Quite nice, quite clear which makes painting a lot more fun. Like there's the Scorpio, the Scorpio itself. The targeting rectangle. And the altar boy with bolts. So I'm assuming that, I don't even know where the, okay. He's gonna be carrying the quiver and then the whole gun just sits on his head. Poor kid. Let's take a look at Black Plague Friday. Black Plague Friday is also going to be on a 50 millimeter base. So he's a big boy. Might make for some fun Nurgle-y champions. I mean, just, just take a look at this. Now, he is wearing a mask, as he should be. You know, he's properly tentacled. And then he's got a bottle of hand sanitizer, along with the typical plague weapon of choice. Okay. Fun. So he has... I'm not sure where that hand's supposed to go. Oh, are these options? Oh, okay. So if you don't want to be cutesy funny... And have him with a bottle of disinfectant, you can go ahead and give him the axe. And I gotta say, that, that's a pretty decent looking plague warrior. And then our cyber meeting Monday. Now, I have not had the luxury of getting to have meetings like this. Um, he's gonna be on a 30 millimeter base. And you can see he is quite the hero from the top up, and he's got fuzzy little doggy slippers. I'm assuming those are dogs. Yep, I know some of you have probably been in those shoes, or slippers, I should say, for those meetings. And you have a choice between a sword or a laptop. I think I gotta go with the laptop. The sword just kind of seems... Too much with maybe his, you know, his weekend pants. <laughs> I don't know. All right, give me a sec. I'm going to probably build these straight, but I will put them all together and we'll show you how things turn out. All right, we got our Scorpio launcher all put together here. Now, funny thing I noticed was the hands right there on the Scorpio itself are going to be right there so you can attach the little kid. I don't know where I put the base at the moment. 
In fact, I didn't know where I put these guys. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I filmed the beginning of this video because I could not find where I put them. Oh, that was annoying. We also went ahead and got our Cyber Monday guy all done. I mean, really, I take the quality of the cast. Look how sharp that is after a little bit of cleanup. I had to go with the sword. Just I figured it's it's his weekend pants or something. He's almost ready for adventuring. And then we went ahead and used the more traditional plague weapons, but he still is wearing his face mask at least. Overall, fun little models. Um, I would definitely recommend taking a look if you haven't had a chance to check out tabletop combat stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what the situation is with the resins right now. I know they were having issues getting more cast due to lockdown situations, but hopefully by the time this is posted, that will no longer be an issue. So if you haven't had a chance, do take a look. They've got quite the varied catalog, and hopefully we will see more from Tabletop Combat on this channel soon. That said, we'll put a link down below so you guys can check that out, and I will bid you all a fond farewell. This has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.